I'm Jeff, and you want to know how to stop writing over words in Microsoft Word. Now, sometimes you're writing what you're writing, you've, you've got everything set up, and, and all you want to do is just add something here or there. For instance, here in this story, I've decided that instead of a beautiful princess, uh, this is going to be a very beautiful princess. Like with any word processing document, I'll just start typing right before the B in beautiful, V-E-R-Y, uh-oh, we have a problem. So right there you can see that I'm typing over the letters and I don't want to do that. Instead, I wanted to actually insert the letters before then. This just means that you're in overtype mode. There is an obvious way that this can happen. It's a key that you pressed accidentally. What you can do is press that key again to get out of it. Look for the key that says insert or just INS on your keyboard. If I press that, I'm now back in insert mode. And if I type in my space and my B-E-A-U, I've got exactly what I wanted. I'm in insert instead of overtype. Those are the two modes that you can be in. This is kind of an operating system wide thing, not just local to Microsoft Word. Uh, there's also a very clever way you can do this, uh, switch back and forth between modes if you need to for some reason. Uh, down at the bottom of the Microsoft Word window, you see down here where you've got the page and section numbers and all that. Go a little further and just to the right of where it says column, you've got these four faded out labels here, rec, trick, X, and over, O-V-R, that's the one we're looking for. That stands for overtype, as you can see from my tooltip. If I double click it, double click, not single click, I've switched back into overtype mode. If I double click it again, I've switched back into insert mode. It's that simple. If you have a keypad on your keyboard, usually the INS insert key is the same as your zero, but you have to make sure that you're not in the numbers mode on your keypad with the numlock key. I'm Jeff, and this is how to stop writing over words in Microsoft Word.